Hey, just checking in. It's, the, it's already February. I don't know what happened. This February seemed like it lasted like 60 days, but then now it's over and I'm like, okay, I'm already into February. So here we go. Um, what are some goals you guys have set? Did any of you have like New Year's resolutions or whatever you want to call it? Where you um, tried to set some new things in place. I just wanted to know what those were and how you're doing. I'm <clears throat> doing pretty good. Haven't really lost much more than the 40 that I told you about. So, um, <clears throat> my doctor's goal is for me to lose very slowly. Because quick weight loss, she feels, equals gaining weight back quickly. So, um, that's the goal. I wish I could lose a little faster than what she would like. Um, she would love a pound per week, I think is kind of her, the most she would want me to lose, maybe a pound and a half. So I'm like, this will take forever, but I know it won't. But now to like today, it's beautiful out. It's almost 50, which isn't normal at the moment, but I'm just thankful for sunshine today. I don't know if any of you are like me, but I really struggle in the winter. Um, I struggle with seasonal depression, uh, so it really does affect me when it's, like, stinky out and gray. So today was, like, much needed sunshine. It's been really muddy and just, like, um, the snow all melted and then it just became slush and mud outside, so not like I can go out. So it's nice. I'm out. Uh, took my son to the gym. I have some painting to do at the gym. Uh, where he plays basketball. So I'm sitting in the car like I know I I turn need to enjoy the weather. But I'm just looking out the window at the sunshine. Which does help me. So I look forward to the summer when I can get out more. Or spring really. Uh, get some sunshine. Vitamin D. So maybe my D's low. I haven't been taking my D as well. So remember that. <clears throat> no, no big resolution thing that I set this year. For me, really, it was just continuing to do what I was already doing. Um, need to get to the gym more. Need to definitely build some muscle. But my back is in a lot of pain. It has been for a while. So I really struggle to do much uh, of anything um, with lifting or anything. Because it's my upper back. And it hurts pretty bad. So I'm going to the chiropractor a lot. Um, which isn't very fun or cost effective because I'm spending a lot of money going to the chiropractor. Um, and so far there hasn't really been a lot of help. Uh, it hasn't been very super helpful. Sometimes it is for uh, the first day or two. I'm actually pretty sore and I, uh, am on a lot of ice and heat, but after that, sometimes I'll get a couple days of relief before it's hurting. And I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but my ribs, I told you guys, I've been on this, um, LDN, uh, low dose naltrexone for lupus. They put me on it probably two months ago, maybe two and a half months ago. They say it takes three months to start working well. Um, so I know a lot of you follow me because of, um, autoimmune and different things. So anyway, um, I've, I go to the chiropractor and usually I was going not just for my upper back. I was going because my, um, um, ribs and my sternum go out of place uh with the lupus and um I also have fibromyalgia so I started taking this medication and for three years now I've literally lived at the chiropractor because I, I'll start to have shortness of breath and um be in pain and I know my ribs are back out of place so my ribs have been in place for um I think a month a month to six weeks maybe which is wonderful um, each time I go, he checks and he's always surprised. So I'm thankful for that, that the medicine, even though it's, she, he's hoping it'll start helping my upper back as well, because I think these are all related issues, but, um, so far, at least it's helping me breathe better and my, my lungs to stay in place. So that's, and my sternum. So that really is painful when it goes out of place. So I'm super thankful for that. But if I could get these things in order, I know I could exercise better. And I wouldn't be in pain. So anyway, just some things to pray for if you think about me. And hopeful that this medicine is going to be an answer to prayer. Because um, I really do want to start moving and working out more too. Um, so that's about it. 
um, fill me in. What's new? Like, is there a new recipe that you've tried that you want to tell me about that you love? And, um, are any of you taking those new amino, um, the new powder that THM has out, that new amino, um, supplement type thing you put in shakes? I haven't ordered it yet, but I saw it. I just ordered a big honking big bag of protein powder and I saw that and I keep thinking about it but I just haven't bought it because it's just one more thing to buy you know sometimes I feel like that with um all the medical things that I buy and and supplements and health healthy foods so I want to make sure it's really worth it you know and I haven't studied it very much to be honest I need to read need to watch and listen to the podcast and look and you know f learn the information so anyway that's about it just wanted to check in Hopefully I won't be another month before I check in. Um, I'm hoping to make some strides this month um, and to get some things going. I've got, it's just a busy season with basketball, so it keeps me, I love it. Like, um, it's brought me a lot of hope and joy in the, in the winter months when I struggle um, to have basketball season and to um, be able to watch my, my son play and my husband coach and and I don't know if I told you guys this. I'm going to be a grandma. I don't want to be called grandma. We'll see. I kind of, I'm ho hoping for Gigi. I'm pushing, you know, I'm going to have to teach the baby. But that's what I'm hoping for. So I'll be a grandma in July, which is like so exciting. I've not been this excited about anything for a long time. So anyways. Okay. Well, that's all I want to say. And I will see you soon. Fill me in in the comments on recipes, ideas, things that you're working on.